Hi everyone, this is Beth Miller with Floor Trends Magazine and I'm in the historic Merchandise Mart and we're kicking off Neocon, it's 2022. We're gonna head into the Mohawk showroom and see what new products they have. They're launching five new products that I have been made aware of. I'm sure there's probably more. Uh, they have some new and interesting things. They've actually collaborated with Art Lifting, which is a nonprofit. Uh, so let's go see what new stuff they have brewing. Good morning, everybody. This is Mark Page, Senior Design Director for the Mohawk Group. Hi, and I'm Roy Sepstein. I'm A&D Design Director for Mohawk. Mark and I are on the Product Development Team, and we're going to show you around our uh, Neocon showroom here at the Mart. Okay, today is going to be our, our feature collection, which is called Social Canvas. Um, this is in partnership with a group called Art Lifting, who champion um, designers out in the community that struggle with um, illness, of developed illness um, and as a result have struggled to create income uh, and then sort of um, homelessness. So what we do here is we have worked with them, we promote their artwork and then the proceeds um, that are generated from sales activity go back to support those artists that we, that we, that we support. Yeah, so the whole program with Art Lifting is really meant to be a way to um, amplify the voices of artists and designers who are working at the margins. And so we're really trying to center their work um, and have them uh, really provide wonderful inspiration for all of our A&D community. So the um, uh, collection really ties into a platform that we have called Better Together. At Mohawk, we believe in better. That's um, kind of our, our core ethos. Um, we believe in better design, better sustainability, better innovation. And now we're also bringing in the idea of community. We really want to focus on how all of us in the design community, we have our, our you know, sort of smaller community, but how can we reach out and again amplify voices of those in the larger community. Um, and so we're doing that um, so that we can be better together. So let's take a look at the collection. Okay, so, so Social Canvas for us is a, is a fairly broad collection of, of parts. We all enter this world with a blank canvas. Um, sometimes um, what's applied to that canvas is applied by others and other things that influence life. Um, but we do have our own choices and we can build upon those canvases. What we try to explain through the collection here is um, the first style is a very simple, very, um, very neutral, just blank canvas. This is where we start. And as we start to build the collection through, we add um, texture and intensity, a slight wash of, of color and pattern, a um, little bit more of an upscale look. These are, these are meant to be used as an everyday, all over carpet, large volume areas, um, but very plush and luxe. And then we move into our pattern perfect constructions, where we start to add more texture, more depth, more pile, um, a gouache of color over the surface. Very simple texture again, and then we start to move into the really intense patterning, longer, straighter brush strokes of work, a little bit more movement, a little bit more noise. Um, and then on Royce's side of the table here, um, we then step up in scale and complexity even further. Um, these areas start to get to where you might want to use um, access points, um, area rugs, really sort of high drama experiences. So as Mark mentioned, Social Canvas is a mega collection with six styles. So we have three that really serve as your textural canvas, and that three that really have these gestural, expressive, um, painterly patterns that really help fill up the floor plate and really create a sense of belonging for everyone. So let's take a look now at um, the larger scale. Um, this is called Uplifting Others. And you can see it's, it's very, again, gestural and painterly almost like abstract expressionist. Um, this was inspired by the work of Charlie French. Charlie is one of the art lifting artists that um, our team really connected with and we really wanted to share his story. Charlie has Down syndrome, um, but he's very clear that he wants to be seen as a, an artist first and as Charlie first, um, or maybe second because he's really yeah so passionate about his art really speaking for him. And so our team really studied um, the, the way that Charlie applies paint to the canvas and we were able to um, be inspired by that to bring you um, these patterns. So again, the larger scale one um, that I'm standing on is called Uplifting Others. And then we have um, 
a, a smaller scale one, or really a medium scale, called Breaking Boundaries. And we'll see Breaking Boundaries, we'll go over here because the, this oh. installation over here is a mixture of the larger scale and the medium scale together. So in a way, um, you know, just like um, you know, Charlie is creating different scales on the canvas, interior designers could create the, their own scale for a floor plate, whether they want to have large patterning or large patterning mixed with yeah. um, uh, a, a smaller scale combined. So this is our third style that is part of the, um, really the gestural painterly um, pattern work, and this one is called Art Therapy. Um, and again, you know, we wanted to name all of these products as well to really relate to this idea of social canvas. You know, um, art and design are really great ways to serve the greater good, and that's what we're doing here with this collection. There are a lot of bells and whistles to the construction uh, and makeup of product. Uh, first and foremost, the fibre is our Duracolor Tricor fibre, um, which was an award-winning fibre from several years ago. It is used in many of our products going forwards, slightly heatherly to the text. It's got a um, triangular core. Um, the Duracolor component, the ability to reflect away from the fibre, any stain, and it just requires hot water to extract um, those stains away. So we're not introducing cleaning chemicals into the built environment. And then the backing fiber that we have in it as well, so the backing um, pads that we use is our EcoFlex One, um, which is revolutionary. Uh, it's a, a backing um, material that we introduced a few months ago. So the backing itself, if, if we consider a square yard of carpet, um, that acts actually equates to 28 plastic bottles, or the equivalent of 28 plastic bottles worth of material being used into the backing material. Um, the construction itself of surface and backing material, this is carbon neutral, but we actually buy ahead an additional 5% to make it carbon positive. Um, there is also a give back to the program as well. Uh, when you invest in a Mohawk product that you see in the showroom here, there is a give back to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Um, we have unfortunately lost several sales members um, to this disease this year, so it's a mission that's dear to our hearts. Uh, and Royce is a, a breast cancer survivor for some years now, so, um, you know, it's a, it's a worthy mission. Um, we are all about inclusivity, we're all about um, making use of our voice as a business to bring social causes to the forefront, um, and hopefully that we can change people's minds and, and just raise awareness through the designs and stories that we bring. Yeah, and I think that's on Mark's She's awesome t-shirt shirt here. Bright and bold and yellow today, so. Now we're going to talk about our Fractal Fluency Collection. Um, this is a continuation of the development we did um, several years ago with a collection called Relaxing Form, Relaxing Floors, sorry. Uh, and this was in partnership with Martin and Anna with 13 and 9 uh, from Austria and Dr. Richard Taylor with the University of Eugene, Oregon um, up on the West Coast. And the study here is the relationship between fractal designs and how they interact with the human body. Um, images that you see here drawn through the, the cortex into the brain and what does that do to the body. Um, what they've actually found through the study work is that it lowers heart rate, lowers respiration and therefore lowers stressing levels in the built environment. What we've tried to do here is um, the computer program that develops the pattern for us, we drop a seed into the computer program. It basically then builds a natural fractal design that it's measured to give that brain stimulus response. Um, in this environment that you see us in here, we're going to completely envelop um, the user of the space in both the fractal design in the floor, and our collection here is called Fractal Fluency, but also in the walls and the ceiling around us. If you were to imagine yourself out in the beautiful forest with the sunlight coming through the, the, the trees and the canopy, that light and shadow effect hits us all and hits the floor we are wrapping you in that, in that experience here. It is a very cool and calm experience just to stand here in this space. Yeah, so Fractal Fluency is an extension, as Mark said, of the Relaxing Floors collection. So we've added two new styles, and they're also in a new tufted construction. So the previous collection, Relaxing Floors, is on our Pattern Perfect collection, or technology, which is basically just uh, very organic, plush um, tufting, so you can really see the patterns kind of um, come up from the backing and they're just um, very dimensional um, and you can kind of see that 
here where the fractals are, are literally dancing or floating on the surface. Um, but this is at a certain price point that is not accessible to everyone. So we really, again, in thinking about equity and, and inclusion, we wanted to have carpet that brings the benefits of stress reduction from fractal design um, into a, a lower price point so it is more accessible to more people in the built environment. And so that's really where I think the specialty of the Fractal Fluency Collection comes in. We've added two new styles lined, which I'm standing on here, and you can see in the um, punched out acoustical panels. This is from a company called Fact that also coordinated with 13 and 9. So we're using the same exact fractal patterns both on the floor and then here on the um, acoustic panels. And then we have squared, and squared you can see in this room here, and I, I will hold up a sample. So here you can see um, the square pattern. So again, both of these are fractal patterns, so when the, our eyes see these um, specific fractal patterns, we have automatic physiological stress reduction in our bodies. The great, the great thing about this space as well, there are so many things to talk about in this experience, is the backing materials that make up our Ecoflex One and the material that make up the acoustic panels, they're all recycled plastic content. So you know, this is a great story in terms of you know, how can we reuse material waste from the environment and bring them back into places of beauty. Yeah. And again, accessible for everyone, again, at a lower price point. Yeah, exactly. Right. So what we have here is a beautiful piece of artwork um, directly taken from an artist uh, called Scott Benner. He is a contributing artist to the art lifting cause. Uh, he is one of six artists that we're going to promote um, between now and the end of the year. Um, a direct, almost a direct translation. This is what we call our pattern perfect construction. It is broad loom. So the collection is called Painted Perspectives. We should know that. Um, which is a fairly broad collection of materials. This is just one component in pattern perfect broad loom. Um, it's an absolute showstopper. Mm -hmm. It's the one draw uh, that everyone comes to, um, but there are upwards of 20 or so additional designs in the entire collection. Um, and they are in carpet tile, they're in printed, they're in um, solution dyed nylon, broad loom, um, guest room material, corridors, public space. It's a very, very all-inclusive collection.